Okay, so <laughs> let us talk about True Detective. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. You know, a lot of people know that you're on that. Actually, can I just well add something real, real quick, John? Go uh, ahead, Kev. Take it, that. Kev. Take um, it. Yep, take it. Have you have you started shooting that yet, or is that still like in pre-production? Can you just uh, go over that, like the process of uh, getting the role and like where where is the actual project at currently? So the project just got greenlit. Greenlit in the world of entertainment and movies just mean like they get the okay to start the production works. Now, something as big as this show being such a prestigious in a, in a, a network like HBO and they got to move the entire production to Iceland is something that when you get greenlit, okay, now it's real. Yeah. It really isn't real until you're on set. I honestly will tell you just like yeah. your fight ain't real until the bell rings and you're in the ring. So greenlit just basically means everything's okay. The negotiations are open. They've casted, the leads, which are us now, I don't know anybody else in the cast, and they're working towards getting in pre-production. So things take, take time. I can only imagine how much work is has been already put into it and then how much work has to be put into it to get everything set up for that. Now, you know, I know vaguely what it is because we have to do auditions. We get to read up certain parts of things. So I have an idea and this is going to be an epic shoot. I mean, yeah. when, whenever it is, I mean, like I said, this could be six, seven months, a year from now when we start shooting. Hence the reason why I'm like, Hey, retards, the fact that I got a TV show does not mean I'm not fighting. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, people think like I'm shooting right now. I'm like, no, yeah. no. And, and for the, again, for the last fucking time, I'm dealing with health issues, whether they want to believe it or not. It just happened that, I'm some unicorn shit and things opened up. I'm sorry. I'm blessed. I'm so thankful, grateful, and have so much gratitude for it. But in like like plain terms, like fuck off. Like stop trying to come up with these conspiracy theories, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's like every everything is a process, and sometimes people on the outside they don't see um everything that's kind of going on and they have a perception that so that's why I asked you the question because people have a perception that the show's already, you know, been shot. It's gonna it's gonna premiere tomorrow. And that's completely not not the case, uh, from my understanding. Well, put it this way. We shot Catch the Fair one in 2019, and people were trying to say, first, that I'm ducking because, you know, they just found out about the movie. Oh, it's because she's, she's filming a movie. I'm like, okay, numb nuts. No, we shot that in 2019. It takes a process. <laughs> then we went through COVID, and then we had a whole year, and now it's out, you fucking idiot. Like, come on, guys. Can I have some kind of common sense? Like, <laughs> today, people are so have such access to information but they're so much more stupid like you can even google how long does it take to film a movie you can answer your own fucking question and people are just stupid so it's funny though so people so are just very another, stupid um, and you know what go ahead kev go ahead now just another question on that uh aspect so um the show like the show itself uh do you know like when when you're gonna start shooting that or is that just kind of um no i don't know yet um, things are being negotiated, things are being put in place. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, so that's, that's why like, I, I can't stress enough people. Like I'm trying, if it was up to me, I'd be fighting next weekend. You know what I mean? But I got to sit and wait. So <laughs> I have, I have no idea. Um, so whenever they figure that out, I'll kind of, you know, assess the situation where I'm at with the fight. Um, or if, if I can't even get, you know what I mean? At this point, what I know from my doctors is basically it's going to be something of a, like a long-term, really fine tune my new complex issue that we're trying to pinpoint. That's kind of affecting a lot of aspects of Please my keep life. me updated on that. Cause I care about you a lot. Yeah. Uh, I think you're wonderful. Like I told you like right off the bat, I connected with you and uh, I'm so thankful that Lou Devella, you know, networked, and put us together and my boy Kevin here, you know, and all that kind of great stuff. We're, we're, um, we're just, we're just, so back thankful, to um, to, we're just so thankful, um, by the way, because I know you probably had like a crate, the craziest day. And, um, John was telling me you did so many interviews and the fact that you, um, you came on to our show after everything you've been through today. I mean, that's, I mean, that means a lot to I mean, um, I'm sure that means a lot. And she's talk. working out afterwards. She was yeah. bike riding. I we don't want to keep. We that. don't want to keep you too long because we know. <laughs> I'm not trolling. Um, I'm not creeping. <laughs> yeah, you know, we we know we know you you just came back from a run and, and whatnot. So 
Um, we really yeah, appreciate yeah. you a lot. So we'll I enjoy talk. talking to you guys. So yeah. I appreciate that. No problem. Yeah. I do. I do Thank what I you. can. I, I want to. I, I want to, you know, say this and give you big ups for this. You were nominated yeah. for best female lead at the Spirit Awards, which is for the listeners, uh, independent film festival. That was your first role, if I'm not mistaken, correct? It was. It was your first time acting. It was. Wow. Okay, that's pretty incredible. You know, I've done acting. I don't want to make it about me at all. But what was that like to get that kind of reception? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> when I heard on the. <laughs> First of all, I'll be very honest. I'm like, I've never even heard of the Independent Spirit Awards. What the fuck is that? Like, I know it's important, mm -hmm. but okay, so now I'm going to do my research. And then when um, I heard the announcement, and I'm like, okay, all right, Regina Hall, I know her. Oh, snap. You know, it just got more real. I'm like, dude, that's insane. People, first of all, people at film festivals like, who the hell is she? Like... And then the movie resonated with a lot of people and we were getting a lot of good feedback. And then people just really wanted to know who the hell I was. Like, and it was amazing to hear people like, they're like, I don't know if you were just a really good boxer that just learned how to act really well or a really good actor that just learned how to box. <laughs> so I was like, that's kind of a dope comment. And the fact that we didn't have to explain anything to people and people took so much different um, points and just messages from the film like every q a i did somebody had a different observation a different question and it was just amazing because me and joseph just sat there and was like yo wow we really we really did a little something here like everything that we set out to do wasn't to win an award it was yeah. just make this piece the right way and that 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 was just a bonus you know and then when i at tribeca yeah. i got um a special jury mention from um you know, for best actress, I was in the category as to be nominated. And um, Brian Cranston was one of the judges. And oh, yeah. they were like, they were like, we sat in there and deliberated for six hours. Wow. Between That's you yeah. and the lead in the novice. Now, the lead in the novice, she's been acting for a while. She's amazing. And that movie was amazing. She was the little creepy kid in the orphan. Like, she's like amazing. You know what I mean? And the fact that you were sitting there deliberating yeah. between me, this little boxer from Rhode Island who just, just, this is my first time, and somebody who's seasoned is an amazing, and that was an amazing movie, was like, holy shit, okay, I guess, I guess I'm okay. Maybe I'll do something when it's acting. And then, you know, come, going from that, going around the film um, festival circuit all around the world, in France, everywhere, and then getting the feedback from people on just the movie and my personal performance was eye-opening and it's like you know i struggled for a long time with with um self-worth and you know you've sorry you heard my story before but like not feeling good enough not feeling uh, just enough in general so i guess my quote-unquote humbleness comes from and i and i don't ever and i will never lose it is that you know i don't really set out to be boastful you know i can brag i can talk some shit but you know i have other intentions behind things and when extra things happen like getting a nomination and being up against these seasoned people it's just like it kind of gives me a, a boost of confidence like i'm supposed to be here that's kind of what happened with my boxing career like i'm supposed to be here after i first started breakfast i was like okay i guess i'm okay i guess i'm good yep. i'm supposed <laughs> to be here you know what i mean and then i did another project in between um catch and getting casted in this true detective I didn't really say anything. Mm -hmm. I've been working in silence for so for for like the past couple of months. I kind of like just stayed away from things and just move in silence. And um, I got casted in a film called Black Flies, starring Sean Penn and Ty Sheridan. And my boy Mike Tyson happened to be casted wow. in it as well. And the way that happened, oh was, my god! Yeah, man, it was again. This is so like crazy how things just show up. I yeah. there was um a part. There was actually quite a few people on of the crew on catch the fan one that were working on this black flies movie because it was filmed in new york and um one of the guys was working with him very closely he was um like the assistant at the ad and um he kept trying to go see catch at the film festival he's at this state he kept missing it but he was in new york working he's like yo listen um i, I really want to go see this movie i worked on this movie it's amazing do you want to go the, the um director his name is sean uh sean stefan he's amazing and um, he did uh, Prayer Before Dawn. If you haven't seen it, it's amazing. But he's like, yeah, sure. So in the middle of the movie, he's like, who the fuck is that? Like, he was like, oh, Kaylee? He's like, yeah, he's like, she's amazing. He's like, yeah, no, nah, she is. He's like, 
he's like, yo, can you get in contact with her? And he's like, absolutely. So he emailed me, connected us, and he told me about the the Black Flies, what he wanted. This this specific um, role I had was, I was like, wait, what? It was pretty fucked up, but um, there was a, an a availability and a opportunity for us to build, and it was crazy because even at the small, you know, but significant role I had in that movie, I was able to create a whole nother scenario as well off of that. And I got, and I, I didn't have to audition for it. I didn't do nothing. He said, I want you to do this, 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 this. And I just absolutely love everything about you. And it was from just seeing me in the movie. I didn't audition anything. I just went to New York. We talked about it. We wrote the, the other scene. We did that. I worked, met Sean Penn, met Shai Sheridan. That's a wrap. And I was shooting on the wow. set. I'm like, that's fucking Sean Penn. Crazy. Holy shit! <laughs> like I was so. <laughs> like, it so was, is um is that movie in uh, post production or is that still um is that in post production right now or is it completed or what's where's yeah, where's that in the process? Um, that wrapped up the end of May and it's okay. in post production. It probably won't come out till next year. If I'm if I'm guessing again, I don't I don't know. Um, but kind of how things work, I'm I'm imagining it maybe be entered in the next year's film festival circuit. Kind of go about that way. So. I want to see it because it's actually based on a book called Black Flies that turned into a movie. And okay. because I read the script and I'm like, holy shit, it's can, pretty good. Can you so, give us um, a short, like a little, <laughs> a little short synopsis on the movie, just real quick? What yeah, the sure. It's about? based on the book called Black Flies, and it's about it's a story about a veteran paramedic and a new rookie paramedic, and basically the percept, uh, the point of view of them, like going to different calls in New York City. Okay. Um, and the veteran, the veteran paramedic is, you know, he was there when 9-11 happened and um, he's basically kind of trying to teach the the young guy the ropes. And you get to see the point of view from paramedics going to different calls in New York City.